In this video, I take you on a journey through seven incredible LEGO experiments that push the boundaries of what can be done with LEGO bricks. Each experiment grows in size, complexity, and excitement, building on the last. So, let's begin. Experiment 1, the LEGO Wave Generator. First up, my favorite, creating a tsunami with LEGO. We need a water tank, and I've got a massive 100 gallon aquarium. It's so huge, I could fit inside, and the glass is thicker than a LEGO minifigure's head. It's going to be epic. Let's fill the aquarium with water. To make waves in such a large body of water, we need a strong, sturdy LEGO structure. To drive the mechanism, I've got two Mindstorms motors, which are both strong and reliable. I've used a mix of regular LEGO bricks and Technic parts to build a powerful and huge rig. Let's mount it in the aquarium and see if it works. Yes, it's working. Check out those waves, they look incredible. The build holds steady, and none of the parts are coming loose. With everything in place, we're ready to dive into the experiments. This machine will simulate ocean waves, and will put three different LEGO ships to the test. A small boat, a runabout, and a solid cargo ship. Will the waves flip these ships or send them to the bottom? Let's find out. After a while, the boat finally sank. Now let's move on to the next test subject. Does the second boat stand a chance of staying afloat? Let's find out. From the minifigure's perspective, it's like being caught in a real storm out on the open ocean. Oh. Looks like it's going down again. Now it's time for the biggest ship of them all. How will it hold up against such a challenge? Let's see. The ship seems steady for now, but patience, it's only a matter of time. Finally, the largest vessel sank. The waves show no mercy. We'll also see if these waves can flood a Lego city. Though the motors aren't strong enough to create a true natural disaster, I'll disconnect them and move the mechanism by hand. The result? The city is completely destroyed. Time to clean up and move on. Experiment 2, the big LEGO Whirlpool. Next up, we create a Whirlpool using LEGO motors. This design lets me submerge the mechanism while keeping the motors dry. A long LEGO axle drive and chain drive makes this possible. The key to this vortex is a tip that doesn't overburden the motor, but effectively swirls the water. We'll see how a LEGO boat holds up in this spinning vortex. Will it survive or get sucked in and torn apart? For a closer look, I've set up a transparent flask of water. The vortex forms and a LEGO minifigure gets caught in it. Now, on to the next experiment. Experiment 3, the LEGO mechanical press. For our third experiment, we're building a LEGO press that can exert significant pressure. Using two motors and a worm gear, this press is simple yet powerful. We'll start with something soft, like marshmallows, which end up with some gnarly marks. Anyone who stepped on a LEGO brick will know the feeling. Next, we'll crush something more delicate, like eggs. It's messy but fun. After that, we'll see if a LEGO minifigure can withstand the press. And finally, we'll test it on a LEGO plate. While the plate doesn't break, it does bend impressively. To finish, we'll crush a tomato, Oreo cookies, and a sausage. Tomato. The press squeezed every last drop of juice out of it. The wedge-shaped press attachment makes quick work of the cookies. That's one more experiment down. Experiment 4, the LEGO twisting machine. For the fourth experiment, we're building a LEGO twisting machine designed to break a plastic LEGO axle. Twisting one of these axles by hand is no easy task, but I've seen videos of LEGO mechanisms twisting metal parts. Let's see what LEGO can really do. This machine will spin the axle with increasing force until it breaks or twists beyond recognition. It's a true test of LEGO strength. 
The axle is twisting with great force, but it breaks because it's not secured tightly enough. Let's lock it in place with a pair of pliers. After a few tries and some adjustments, the axle finally snaps, and it looks Bruh. amazing. Bruh. The fake axle broke even easier than the original. Proof that LEGO's quality is top notch. Experiment 5. Google 1 reduction using LEGO gears. A standard LEGO motor spins at 3 and 40 RPM, but with the right gears, we can slow this down so much that a full revolution would take 14 billion years. Each gear stage slows down the rotation by a certain factor, and when combined, the reduction is astronomical. Now for an engineering marvel, creating a gearbox that could keep spinning for billions of years using LEGO gears. The setup involves a complex arrangement of gears to create an incredibly slow rotation. With each gear, the rotation slows down more and more. Different gear ratios cause varying levels of deceleration, from a 40% slowdown with bevel gears to 97% with worm gears. In the end, the final gear would only complete one full revolution after 14 billion years. This might be the slowest LEGO machine ever built. Experiment 6. The Lego motor lifts a huge weight. Next, we'll test how much weight a Lego motor can lift before it breaks. You might think a small motor couldn't lift much, but with the right mechanisms, it can do incredible things. Using pulleys and simple mechanisms, we'll see just how much we can lift. We'll start with a 2 pounds dumbbell. Easy. I won't spend too much time explaining the details. Thanks to a system of threads and pulleys, the motor increases its strength, allowing us to lift some seriously heavy weights using just one Lego motor. Then, we'll move up to 5 pounds. Another success, now 7 pounds. Still easy to lift, moving on to 13 pounds. The mechanism holds strong each time. Bruh. At 22 pounds, it starts to struggle, but after strengthening it, it works again. After reinforcing the structure, the motor lifts 31 pounds. A feat that's truly impressive. Further weight increases might not be possible, but with more stiffness and adjustments to the gear ratio, I'm sure we could push it even further. Experiment 7. The 100-wheeled LEGO car. For our final experiment, I'm building a 100-wheel LEGO car. Maybe even more. This massive build will test structural integrity and engineering skill. Can it roll under its own weight, or will it collapse? The car is about 10 feet long, taking up nearly all the space in the room. With so many wheels, friction and weight are huge challenges. Maneuvering is also tricky. Turning requires a huge radius, or the car will just get stuck. These seven experiments were truly epic, each one more exciting and challenging than the last. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more crazy LEGO builds. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.